Okay. Let's see if this works. Ah, shit. Ooh, good morning. All right. This is crazy. Shit. All right, this thing's not working. Oh, too much shaking. So, 48 years old this morning. Good morning. And I'm running for the first time in a couple years. Crazy. Why? Today marks 100 days left in the year. I'm gonna finish this year strong, super strong. Health, relationships, and finances all moving forward. Massive pace, and I'm bringing people along with me. It's not a one man show, life is a co creative journey. And when you surround yourself with the right people, you can get yourself from where you are to where you want to be in record time. Because they're gonna push you. You're gonna push them. The acronym TEAM is true. Together, everyone achieves more. So, 48 years old, haven't run in years. I'll show you my Apple Watch when I get to the ocean up here. But roughly 1.7, 1.8 mile run. Whew. Uh, right now, passing the Intracoastal, the bridge. Whew. And you know how the mind works? My mind was like, stop. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you trying to, what are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything, except I'm in control of mine, you're not. Step aside, let me show you what, what's gonna happen. You're gonna try to override me, you're gonna try to cut out my goals and my dreams. I'm gonna say bullshit, we're doing it anyway. Uh, so, yeah, the mind has been telling me to stop many times on this brief journey. I gotta step in and override that. It's not happening. Finish line's up ahead. Your goals, their finish line is up ahead. Once you're bold enough to claim it and take the proper actions. It's not rocket science, it's dedication, it's commitment, it's discipline, it's determination. It's having the smarts to surround yourself with the right people. Whew. Not the ones that have gained 30 or 50 pounds in the pandemic, the ones that have attained their goals during the pandemic, the ones who are thankful for the pandemic because that took a necessary break away from the nonsense. It made you get back to what's real and what's important to you. Whoo! And what's real and important to me is not only finishing this year strong personally, but helping others, possibly you. Step up, step out of your comfort zone and into living a life by design, your design. Not my design for you. Not your daddies, not your mommies, not your grandparents, not your grandsons. Your vision for your life. <sighs> Cue the Bon Jovi song. It's my life, <laughs> it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. Woo! Guess what? Newsflash, you're not gonna live forever, neither am I. So now's the time to get clear on what your starting point is, get clear on where you want to go, and step up and take the first step to get there. We're only a few steps away from the halfway point. I won't lie, I'm pretty damn pumped. Whew. Pretty pumped. I'll stop at the halfway point. 
Woo. Chat with you briefly at the ocean. It's windy. Ah. Oh yeah. Last few steps. Woo. Oh yeah, you don't quit. You don't quit. When the finish line's near, you step it up. Oh shit. All right. I made it. You made it with me. Check this out. Let's see what we got here. Oh shit. All right. Behind me is the Atlantic Ocean, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit. My heart is pumping. Hold on. I'll show you something. My watch. Here we go. The watch. Oops. What happened? Here we go. So there's the watch. What's the time? Say it also. Whoops, that's, I didn't switch it. There, there we go. Whoo, 16 minutes, 1.78 miles. I'm gonna pause that. Look, it's not about setting world records. It's about setting personal records. And guess what? This day zero, uh, with the zero running, running that, uh, just 1.78 miles in 16 minutes is a start. That's what's called a start. I'm pacing now because my heart's beating and the wind's blowing. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I haven't looked at any of the comments yet. I will later. But here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And I can say this. I'm living a pretty kick-ass life. I'm living a pretty comfortable life. Yeah, there's twists and turns. Yeah, there's ups and downs. Yeah, there's peaks, peaks and valleys. But I've lived and created an amazing life by design that works amazingly well for me. Woo! That's what I want to tell you to do. I see a bigger version of you. I see you can do so much more, regardless of what you're starting with. Regardless of what you too possibly living your dream already. Or our, our paths cross right now where you might be living a dream, but it's a nightmare. It doesn't matter. This too shall pass. No storms stick around forever. You've got this. And you've got it, especially when you got the right team in place to help you get from there where you are now to where you want to be. All right, I stepped behind these bushes here because it was freaking loud over there. The wind, it's windier than heck today. So what's this all mean, Tom? What this means is I recognize, yeah, okay, great, good for me. I'm fairly healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. But I know, looking in the mirror, Tom, you're capable of so much more. I know you got more. And, and here's the deal, uh, Tom, you've proven yourself to be one kick-ass leader. People need leadership right now, Tom. Step the fuck up. Take your life from where it is to where you know it can be. And in the meantime, help others get from where they are to where they want to be tap into that gift that God gave you, that gift of leadership, that gift of leading by example, that gift of not judging people, whatever their starting point is, that gift of not uh, having a dick contest of who's got the bigger this or bigger that or most this or most that, that's all fucking meaningless. What matters is peace of mind. What matters is your ability to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm giving my all. I'm getting clear on what's mine to do and I'm going for it. I don't gotta compare myself to anybody. You don't have to compare yourself to anybody. The only person you wanna compare yourself to is that one staring back at you in the mirror. Am I giving it my best? Am I going for it with all I've got? Because I'll tell you this, this most amazing, beautiful amusement park in the world, actually in the universe, is this world, Earth, that we're on. This is the greatest amusement park in the universe. We're here and we've got a ticket and that ticket can be revoked at any moment. We can be asked to leave this most amazing amusement park in the universe at any point. None of us know if that's today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year next five years, next 10 years, next 20 years, next 50 years. We don't know. So that being said, I would challenge you to go to that mirror and ask yourself, look deep into your eyes. Am I given all that I've got? Am I clear on who I am? Am I clear on where I am? Am I clear on where I'm going? Lack of clarity is the root of all failure. Lack of clarity is the root of all failure. If you're not clear on where you are or where you're going, that's like calling an Uber and they're saying, hey, where, where do we meet you? I don't know. Where are you going? I don't know. You can't get from you don't know to you don't know. You know clearly where you are and where you want to go. When you're clear on that, that's the root of all, all success. 
So it first begins with that clarity. Second is a decision. I am recognizing that if nothing changes, nothing changes. I'm aware that regardless of what my starting point is now, you know, maybe I have decent health, decent relationships, decent financial situation. But I know darn well, even if that's the case, even if you are at, you know what, Tom, I'm at the most amazing point in my life. I guarantee that you this, if you look in the mirror and you say, is this all I've got? I know damn well the answer is no. You're capable of much more. I see that in you. I see that in people. That's my gift. That was my gift in Marine Corps boot camp. I didn't want to be the guide. The guide halfway through boot camp, three months of hell, I was just trying to be in the back. I didn't want any attention from the drill instructors. I didn't want to be a leader. I just want to be in the back. But in doing so, I gave my all in the runs. I gave my all on the rifle range. I gave my all in everything I do. And they finally said, Beal, congratulations, you're the guide. Halfway through three months, I, as the guide, rallied my platoon together each and every evening. said, look, guys, I know we're better than this. Come on, we got to get over the internal squabbles. We got to get over the, the BS and we got to step up and give our best. And here's the deal. At this point, as the guide, if you mess up, I'm the one taking heat for it. And I'll, I'll give you this promise. If you're giving me your all and I'm taking heat for it, I will gladly get punished as long as it takes. However, if you're not giving it your all and I'm out there getting punished for you slacking it, for you half-assing it, we're going to have some problems. I'm not going to be out here to get punished because you're half-assing it. And I rallied the team of the platoon together and we won everything that we could win in Marine Corps boot camp. We won the drill uh, competition. We won the rifle range high score. We won the physical fitness test high score. We won the academic high score. All that you could win, we won thanks to my guidance, leading by example, and rallying the team together. That's one of many examples. In the corporate world, I've done the same. Brought the best out of the most elite business owners in the world. Brought the best out of their teams. Set ridiculous timelines that were uh, just clearly unattainable and believed uh, past my belief that it was attainable onto the team to turn them from it being impossible to not only possible, but we're going to make it happen. That's my gift. And I'm opening this up for a few people. This isn't for everybody. This is not for the whiners, the quitters. This is not for people who, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, I'm just not cut out for it. Look, if you're not, that's okay. This isn't your time. But if you're ready to step up and if you're ready to recognize that you looking in the mirror know you're capable of much more, jump into my world for a bit. Let me show you how I lead by example, how I, by getting to know you, will get clear on where you are, what your starting point is, where you're going, and as the simplifier get you from here to there in the quickest, easily, easiest, uh, with requiring work, requiring dedication, requiring you to step up and step out of your comfort zone. Uh, but you will recognize in very short order, I've had clients lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds and more while their business is growing, while their relationship with themselves and others is growing. And yes, recognizing you can have it all. You can, with clarity, take all aspects of your life and get them from good, decent or amazing to incredible. The life of your dreams. And that's what I'm gonna help myself do in these last 100 days of this year. And for those that wanted to join me, come along. So in this, I have created my own app. This is gonna be in-app. You may have heard me talk about how I'm pissed off and sick of Facebook. It is a cesspool, as is all social media at this point. And, and the old truth from Earl Nightingale is, we get what we focus on, right? We get what we think about most of the time. And if you're thinking about chaos, if you're thinking about destruction, if you're thinking about you know, us versus them, if you're thinking about all that stuff, you're gonna get more of it. I'm thinking about leading the absolute best life of my life and in turn inspiring others to be the best they're capable of. And then guess what? The best way to change the world is look in the mirror and get that person on point. And when you do that, you're going to become a lighthouse for other people to say, wow, look at the life that person's living. And then one by one, the world has changed. You want to start changing the world? Start by the person in the mirror. Don't start by judging everyone on Facebook. Don't start by, by pounding your chest and whipping out your dick, claiming you got the biggest, baddest motherfucker in the planet fuck you and your judgment <laughs> and there goes some judgment right so here's the deal I'm sick of social media and all the fucking bullshit judgment and I'm pulling my people off into my app and in the app guess what we're gonna get we're getting focused on where we're going we're not focused on the fake bullshit we're not focused on the distractions we're focused on what's important our health our mental physical emotional 
and, and spiritual health. We're focused on our relationships, our personal, professional, and social key relationships. Who are they and what are we doing to invest the most important thing in a relationship, the time into those? And your financial situation, my financial situation, getting us from where we are to where we want to be, improving our today money, our recurring 30-day cash flow, to improve our tomorrow money, our bigger projects that have a higher possibility of producing some great results and tapping into one of the secrets of wealth and peace and happiness, contribution. How and where can you feel you're putting your time, energy, and resources to good use to help the things that you feel are yours to help? All right, Matthew Sullivan, clean your rooms, absolutely. I want to gain weight. Well, that's a great, see, Matthew, you're clear on where you want to go, and that's a great goal. Uh, there's, there's definite strategies for that. Uh, great stuff, Matthew Sullivan, never quit. Kevin Johnson, what's up? Matthew Sullivan, there he is, discipline equals freedom. Get some, motherfucker, absolutely. Marine, man, we go back in the day. Uh, you're not totally running totally naked, are you, Fabian? Uh, I won't say. Well, maybe, maybe not. No, I got some running shorts on, not totally naked. So here's the deal. Uh, this isn't for everybody. Look, the Marine Corps wasn't for everybody. Uh, look, it, it's, not, uh, it's not meant for the weak-minded, the weak-hearted. It's not meant for the people who uh, half-ass it. Neither is working with me. If you're ready to work with me, that means you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're committing to yourself that I'm in. There's no half ass in it. Like, this is it. I'm, I recognize if nothing changes, nothing changes. Well, guess what? It's time for a change. It's time for a plot twist in my life. And, you know, call me the simplifier. Call me the plot twist enhancer. But get ready. There's going to be a massive plot twist. You're going to be the healthiest you've been. You're going to have the happiest and most fulfilling relationships that you've ever had and you're going to have the most financial improvements, gain strategy and implementation uh, in process than you've ever had, all of it, inside my app. And it's not just me, it's the great people that also come into this community. So where do you go for this? You go to my platoon, myplatoon.com. And I just whip this together as an example of, look, it doesn't have to be shiny, it doesn't have to be pretty, I'm not here to convince people. This is not reaching people who don't know who I am. Uh, if you don't know who I am, do a Google search, go search on YouTube, get to know me, whatever. But this is for the people who know who I am, know what I bring, have seen me on stages around the world, have worked with me uh, in various levels. And just to give you an idea, people starting back years and years ago, Mike Filsame and I had a group coaching program that was 1500 bucks up front and 500 bucks a month. That included some of the most influential uh, people in the marketplace today were part of that mastermind years ago. Then, uh, actually had masterminds that uh, people invested $1,000 per month to work with me to get an hour of my time. It's since improved to 3,000 a month, 5,000 a month. There were some that invested 10,000 a month and more to work with me on a limited scale. This is pennies uh, compared to that. I thought of putting together a course, you know, 100 days left in a year, or something like that for 1,000 or 2,000 dollars. I say, you know what? I'm gonna make it even better than that. So it's significantly less than that. So go to myplatoon.com, see which uh, is the right fit for you. You're gonna be invited to my app and I will set this preface. The app is brand new. Uh, it's all set up and ready to go, but this is brand new, getting started. It's gonna be on the iOS and Android. Uh, it's getting started, so I have it connected. But if there are any technical challenges, I will ask for some grace period, 24 to 48 hours to get everything connected if there are any glitches that I don't foresee, but with technology, stuff doesn't always go as planned. So if you do register, and, and when you register, uh, if you notice that the app, for whatever reason, didn't connect, shoot me a message, and I will get the team on it and get it all squared away. Uh, I do love doing live as well. So a lot of the videos I'll be placing live, the only time I'm gonna be coming on Facebook is to go into the private group that's for this uh, uh, inner circle, my platoon members only, record live, do some things that inspire me, inspire others, and have other of the platoon members record their uh, many times public accountability videos uh, to help make sure that we all do what we uh, want to do, that public accountability is a, be a big aspect. So it will have, have the live component for a Facebook group for the platoon members only, and those videos will also be put into the app, but then there will also be communication uh, inside the app, inside the Facebook group, but part of uh, the last 100 days is to limit the time on not only Facebook, but pretty much all social media, to, uh, to break away from other people's agendas 
and get centered into your uh, intentions, your goals, gaining clarity on where you are and where you're going, focusing on what you want, not focusing on what other people and other agendas have you focusing on. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. 100 days left in the year. Your best awaits. Get ready to step up and into the best version that you may not even recognize as possible for you at this point, but I can guarantee you in 30 days, in 60 days, in 90 days, you will look back and say, holy crap, what a plot twist. I never knew my life could go uh, in this such short manner uh, to turn literal dreams into reality. So get ready for the journey. Go to myplatoon.com. I look forward to seeing you inside the app and the uh, special Facebook group. Until then, I don't want to say this, but public accountability works. I'm going to run my ass back home another 1.8 miles. I could have easily skated out of that and walked. You know, hey, half is good enough for day number one. But now I'm making public accountability. Why? Because that's what we're going to do inside my platoon. Public accountability is a secret key uh, when you're with the right people, when you're with those leaders. So I'm going to run my ass back home. First, I'm going to enjoy some of this ocean here. You can enjoy it with me. It's going to get a little windy. Go to myplatoon.com. Step into the world of Tom Beal. Step into the world of turning your dreams into reality. Step into a plot twist that no one saw coming. Maybe not even you. Chat with you soon. See you in my platoon. Myplatoon.com.